Okay, so what I'm going to be doing today is a bait challenge. I'm on a lake that has both brook trout and rainbow trout. And I'm going to put a size 10 bait holder hook on. I've got identical main lines, identical leaders. The main lines are 4 pound uh, Berkeley fire line. And the leaders are 4 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. Uh, I'm just going to put a little split shot right above them. And then we're going to run a equal size pieces of Nightcrawler and a couple maggots to get equal mass. And we're going to do the best out of five here. So five fish up on the ice. See which one's the winner. So no color attractant, just the bait. Going to dead stick these. I'm going to watch how the fish respond to them on panoptics, on my camera. And uh, we'll see which bait comes out on top. Now before I get into it, put in the comments below what you think will be the best bait. We'll see if you're the winner today. It is cold out today. Air temp is 14 degrees. Uh, it seems like everything takes longer. My hands are cold. Rainbow wanted that uh, maggots. Nice rainbow too. Look at that. Gorgeous. Alright, first score for the maggots. On Really pretty rainbow trout. Look at that. Pretty. Back on one. All right. That's one point for maggots. I almost screwed that up because my screen is inverse of what my holes are drilled. <laughs> the image is mirrored. All right, we're going to switch positions. So every time we get a fish, we're going to move the rods in different holes. Uh, that way we try and get some balance in this uh, design. All right, we'll get the night crawler here. So the maggots definitely stand out because of their brighter color. Uh, and trout are definitely visual hunters. So that might have something to do with it. But I've run this trial with power bait versus night crawler. And uh, power bait's way more visual than Nightcrawler and the power bait lost, so I'll be curious to see how this continues to go today. A couple brookies here. Oh, there's a rainbow. Ooh, that was on the maggot, and I missed it. That was definitely a good bite on the maggot. It went for the maggot straight away. There we go, got a brookie. You hit that maggot again. Nice. Oop. I'll consider that a catch. I got him above the ice, but he popped off right in the hole. That's two for the maggot. My anti-reverse on this reel is uh, failing on me sometimes. All right, well, let's switch positions. If the maggots get one more fish, then they basically have victory already. But I'll go all the way to five just to see if we get any on the worm. I feel like when I watch the screen intently, I never see any fish. And then I turn away and I come back and there's like a fish on. There we go. Got one on the nightcrawler finally. All right. 
school. Nightcrawler's still in the game. Look at the little rainbow. There you go. Just a little guy. Planted this year, probably. Alright, so that's two to one. Nightcrawler to Maggot. Let's go ahead and flip them, and I'm going to refresh the baits now that we're three fish in. Oh, I missed him. He bit both. Oh, he's back. Now this bites on both, but neither converted. Well, so far that means we've got two fish landed on the maggots, one on the nightcrawler, but two bites that I didn't convert on the maggot and one bite I didn't convert on the worm. Oh, I pulled it right out of his mouth. That's a bummer. That was the worm too. It's good, the worm's starting to tie things up though. One thing's for sure, I lose a lot more fish dead sticking uh, because when I'm jigging, as soon as I feel the fish, I can set the hook with the dead sticking the delayed reaction. There's fish. Just saw a fish run by. There we go. Got him on the maggot. Rainbow. Well, that's it for the maggots. They uh, they win. That's their third fish. It's best out of five. This little guy back. But we'll go ahead and give the uh, nightcrawler a chance to redeem itself. It's been punching fairly well, just slightly behind the maggots. So I'll go ahead and flip positions and uh, see if the worms can save face. Ooh, there we go. That's a good sized fish. There we go, big rainbow on the worm. Here we go, nice rainbow on a worm to give the worm a two fish finish. Let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. All right, so that's the end of the maggot versus nightcrawler challenge for ice fishing for trout. Uh, was it the result that you expected? It was really just a slight favorable win for the maggots. I noticed that they just tend to hold on to the maggots a little bit longer, which gave me more time to hook set. And one of the things I've noticed is when you drop fresh maggots versus fresh nightcrawler into the water, the hemolymph starts coming out of those maggots. And I imagine when those fish start biting and chewing on it, that hemolymph is coming out of their mouth. They taste all those proteins. I don't see that as much with worms, which might explain why they seem to hold on to those maggots just a little bit longer. Overall, I really would say it's just a pretty much a 50-50 split with maybe a slight favor to the maggots. Anyways, it was a lot of fun doing this trials. I always love seeing how the fish respond to different baits underwater and uh, hope this helps you out when you get on the ice so you can fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.